Okay. Good morning. I wanted to share with you guys um, some marketing tools we have in our Remax back office. Um, it's really, really easy to use. Um, everything automatically filters into our um, Remax back center. So make sure you're logged in. If you don't have your login, it's super easy to get. If you need help logging in, let me know. Um, because what happens is uh, all of our listings automatically feed into our profile. And it creates so many good things back there. I just wanted to make you guys aware of how easy it is to do stuff for our listing. I'm just going to go and I'm going to share my screen here. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to come here to our back office. And I purposely didn't log in because I want you guys to see the login page. Um, for those of you who don't know your Remax ID, it's most likely your first name and then your last name at Remax.net. Okay, and then you're going to create your own password, of course. If you don't know what your Remax login is, um, you can call this number here at the bottom, the 1888 number. It's actually really not a long wait at all. It's about two minutes. They're on the phone. You just have to say, hi, I'm new to Remax or I don't remember my Remax ID. And within a couple of minutes, they'll send you a, a reset email. Okay. Uh, and then what they'll do is you'll just go in there, you'll click on that link, and then you can create your password. So make sure you have access to this Mac Center because I want to go over a lot of the tools in it um, uh, within my training. I know I've done a bunch of them before, but I think I decided to come back because I haven't gone to um, Mac Center with the office in a while for training. Um, and there's so many good tools back here for us to use. So I'm going to get logged in there. The first time you get logged in, what you should do is you should go to the top right corner here. Just check your profile. And that goes for anything that you're logging into. If Especially if you're newer, um, come in and spend some time with me because what we I like to do is go into your stratus, make sure that all your profiles are set up, make sure that your signatures are set up for your emails, that you're sending your clients with properties. Um, make sure that you're on realtor.ca, your presence shows up well there. Um, and then this is another one. You want to make sure that your profile is all set up here because this is how Remax funnels leads to you and referrals to you, um, depending on how your profile is set up. And you want to make sure you have correct information there. Um, a lot of times people referring from out of province or other country, they'll come and look at your profile as well, see if they want to send you a nice referral. So go in here, just make sure your contact information is correct. And that, you know, if you speak different languages, that's an asset. Um, if people are looking for a realtor who speaks a certain language um, and that all your information in there is good. Okay. Again, if you don't know how to log in and go through your profile and fix it, you're always welcome to spend time and sit with me and I'll help you set it up. Because it's important as professionals, they say that we have a polished profile because what we're doing is we're creating a brand for ourselves at the end of the day. And that's how people will contact you um to get um for business they want to see that you have a brand okay so the purpose of today is i wanted to go into our design center so when you log in on your dashboard of your mac center um normally the apps you use the most come up okay uh so if you can't see design center on the first page like this so it comes in when i log in because i use it quite often um, you can go over here to your apps and tools on the left-hand side. So on your dashboard, apps and tools, you click on it and you can just take a quick glimpse and see how many apps and tools are available to us in the back office. That's why I say, make sure you have that login and make sure you're going into your profile and using it because it comes with our membership. You know, a lot of uh, what we pay head office monthly and your $410 you pay a year, goes towards all of these apps and tools that um, help us do our business. So go in and learn them and go and check them out. Just go around and click. They have so many good things in here. You see under learning and education, for instance, they have a bunch of stuff in Remax University, they call it. Uh, lots of webinars you can watch, lots of um, um, videos um, on how to market, how to get leads, how to a lot of the content that I would even cover in training, they have a bunch of that here. So you can go and click on it and watch videos and see a different perspective. Um, they have, you know, um, the, the KB Core that we've been talking about, which I want to do some training on um, very shortly as well. Um, and then we're going to see that design center, which is what I want to go to today. 
So like I said, it's on my dashboard, but if you can't see it on your dashboard because you're logging in for the first time or you don't use it that often, you can go to your apps and tools, right? I'm gonna click on your design center here. So when you're first doing your onboarding, so if you're logging into your Remax Mac Center for the first time, it's going to ask you for your TREB ID, right? And it's also going to ask you for a listing. If you don't have a listing right away, that's okay. Um, you can go and you can um, just go in with your TREB ID. <clears throat> but what happens is if you do have a listing, you can. Um, it just helps take the feed off of TREB. And once you enter that the first time, forever and ever and ever, anytime you load anything in the system that's your listing, it's going to automatically load your listing into um, different apps and tools in your Mac Center. Okay, because they they you know that IDX, DDX, Val, all of that stuff that we were um, signing that was because KV Core was new to us, uh, and it was doing the same thing with KV Core, so we could automatically feed those listings into the into that app. Excuse me, whereas the Remax Mac Center already had um, all of that set up for us. And so you see when you go into the design center, you can see this is just personal to me. This is all of my listings here that I have fed directly into my design center. <clears throat> so the advantage of this <clears throat> is that a lot of the things that we're doing in the design center will automatically be um, created for me. So if I go into my new listing here for um, the commercial um, convenience store, I can see view projects, okay? And it's gonna automatically create some stuff for me. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna see what it's done here. And we're gonna go preview and it's taken pictures off of my listing, descriptions off my listing, my contact information, and it's created a nice little video. I don't know why I have no sound here right now. on the office laptop, like I said here today. Hmm. But anyways, you see, it's gonna scroll through all those pictures. Oops, I clicked off at it there. I'm gonna let you guys watch it from beginning to end just to see what it's doing for us. So I think it takes 10 pictures. It takes, you know, um, the address. It'll take a brief description. Uh, it's telling them it's my sale of business. <clears throat> Contact today for more information. It should be almost done there. I think it gives flashes my contact information at the end of the video. So it's almost like a little slideshow basically that's created. Oh, this is like either the Wi Fi is slow because of the rain or this laptop is slow, loading it pretty slowly. I think that whole video ran a little bit slower than normal, too. You see, it pops up my <clears throat> contact information there at the end. So, neat little tool that it can do. Uh, I'll go back into my designs here. And I'm going to, or sorry, I'll go back home, not to the design part yet, quite yet. And I'll click on another listings for, for instance, look at this 25 Ignatius and it has projects in there as well. So you can see it has a single property website, virtual tour, for sale e-postcard, jumbo postcard, for sale flyer, social media boost post, and a brochure. So the really good thing about Mac Center is, is that they make everything print friendly. So if you, for instance, want to do this, um, for sale, let's do something that has to be cut. Jumbo postcard. You want to send it to your printer. Um, it actually, when you download it, will be um, ready. You can choose and say that you want it ready for the printer and it's um, uh, ready with the bleed and everything for the die cut. So <clears throat> really, really good things and they automatically um, create them. So say you don't have a listing now and you want to learn how to create this stuff. Sorry, I got a little bit of a frog in my throat this morning. <clears throat> okay, so um, 
if you don't automatically have a listing and you want to go and you want to create a design in your Mac Center. Um, so for instance, say you want, say you're newer and you're trying to get some business in a certain area. So I always encourage you guys to use the strength of the office. Um, let me just log into MLS for a second so I can go over how you grab a listing from the office. Okay, let's log in here real quick. How many of you have not been in your Mac Center yet? Has everybody logged in and tried um, logging into your Mac Center? Like I say, if you haven't been in, um, it's really, really quick to get that login ID if you're not sure what it is. If you need any help getting in, let me know because it's really important that you go back there and use that. I just want to stop the share and come back because sometimes I lose you guys when I do my share. I'm going to make sure you're in here. So um, if you don't have a listing and you're trying to get some business in the area, because we saw our listings automatically feed in, it's pretty much a no-brainer. Half the stuff is done there. And I'll show you how we can curate and customize things a little bit. But before we go into that, I just want to go real quick and do a quick refresh for anybody who's looking. Um, how to do a brokerage search. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go here. And I want to go to a predefined search. And I just want to say my brokerage history, okay? And I'm going to say that it's something around the office, right? So I'll pick Toronto. I'll just see what kind of listing we have in the office. Okay, so we do have one in EO4. It's on Pitt Avenue here, um, listed at 1.599, and it's Monier's listing. Okay, so if you're a newer agent, maybe you want to use this listing and you think it's really, really great. So you're going to go in here and you're going to check some of the details on it. And we're going to go into the design center and fill some of that stuff in. So what I want to do is I want to send out a just listed flyer or I want to advertise that this has been um, listed in the neighborhood. Because even though it's not your listing, you can use listings in your brokerage um, as your strength, right? So I'm going to go to my design center here. Okay, and now this when you go to the design tab here on the top doesn't aut doesn't take automatic uh, automatically from your listings on MLS. So they're they're raw things for you to design on your own. And I might type in just listed here. Okay, so for just listed, it's telling me that we have all of these things here. It's sort of just plugging in um, all different projects that it thinks I can use for a just listed um, uh, postcard or flyer or even a little website. Let's just grab a postcard here real quick. Okay, and it's gonna say postcard, double-sided. I'm gonna select this design. And I'm gonna call this hit just listed. Okay, and I'll just say it's my just listed flyer. Okay. So save and continue. Okay, and then I can upload some photos here. Okay, so again, I'm on the work laptop today. Let's see if there's any photos here. Um, somewhere on the desktop or something, there's gotta be something we can upload. Maybe not a picture. Okay, but you get the gist. You can go into here, into your um, computer and pick sort of anything. You know what, let me just download a photo real quick because I want you guys to see what it looks like. So we're just gonna say house, let's find a picture of a house, okay? I could go and try and download the picture off of MLS, but I don't know if you guys have ever tried to do that. The photos, they don't allow you to steal the photos anymore. So before we were only allowed to use the first picture of a listing, that was the rule on Treb, that we could use the first picture, but we didn't, we could not, we weren't allowed to use any interior pictures, okay? Um, but now they sort of blocked us out from using any pictures on MLS. So if I click on this, I'm just going to show you guys the difference. I'm going to try to save image. Okay. And let's go to desktop. Let's see if this works. I don't think it will, though, because it's not letting us do it anymore. Uh, and then let me just go back here to my house while I'm here. I'm going to grab a picture of a house just in case that didn't work. 
Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my design center. And I'm going to stop the share and just come in because I find when I click a bunch of tabs, I tend to lose you guys there. So just in case. Okay. So now I'm going to select a file to upload. Okay. And where did that one go on my desktop? Okay. Um, so the house one came here, but the other one did not. See, it never lets us save it. And sometimes it saves it as a funny file, an H-E-I-C file. But it just doesn't work. Let me go back to the listing to make sure one more time that I tried to save that on the desktop. And yeah, I did. We're going to call it house two. Let's see if that works. Okay. Desktop. See, it's just not, see my original house from, um, uh, the internet is saving, but the one from online isn't. So you won't be able to take the pictures directly off of MLS, okay? You can go and click on this now. And say you have a few more pictures, um, you can put them in there as well. And I'm going to save and continue. Okay. And I want to say just listed. And we're going to see how many beds and baths are in this listing. We can fill that in. So four plus two and four washrooms. Okay, so four plus four plus two. Four washrooms. The square foot, we don't necessarily have to put that in. Um, I just wanna quickly fill this in and show you guys. Um, sorry, it was 149. Show you guys what this flyer looks like. So I'm not worried about how accurate the content is right now. Okay, and then you're gonna say for sale, this is the view two on the other side. So maybe I'm gonna go in here and take a little bit of the description. Maybe I just wanna say up to here with the finest materials throughout. So I'll finish on that sentence. Come in here and I'll copy it into the body. And I'm gonna save and continue, okay? And because it's generating from my profile, this is why I say it's so easy if you go in and set up your profile first, because basically anything you do where they can use it, they're going to autofill it. So I don't even have to do anything on this last page. <clears throat> it's going to fill in all my information automatically. It has my picture, my name, my number, um, you know, my email address. If you want to keep this email address, do you, that's fine, because a lot of people get confused. They say, oh, how do I check my Remax email? There's not technically a Remax email with an inbox that you check. Um, it's just a Glamour email. So it is an at Remax email, um, but it filters through, it, it pushes through, I shouldn't say filter, it um, pushes directly to the email that you've provided Remax. So if you have a Gmail, um, you're, if anybody sent an email to this christine.boland at remax.net, it would go to my regular Boland realtor that I use on Gmail. So you don't need to worry about changing that here. And then it has the direct and office number, okay? And then I'm going to save and continue. Okay. And now I want to just preview what that looks like. Okay. So you can see here that it's that. All right. So it's tiny here. I want to try to expand it for you guys. I won't let me expand it there. So anyways, you can see it has on the front page, it has that house picture that I took off of online and then just listed 149 Pitt Avenue. And on the back side, it has the Remax information, my information and it, the for sale with that little blurb that I took. So that took a little longer than normal. Normally it takes like three seconds to do this and you can play around with it, trying to make it look nicer and doing different things and putting more pictures in. It would look more interesting if we added more pictures. It would put um, a large one and then a few thumbnails here at the bottom. Um, but it takes literally a few seconds. It took longer because we were going through and explaining and going back and forth from the listing, right? But that's just one of a million different things you can do in here, okay? So like if we go back and we tried to create, for instance, a one-page website for our listing, okay? Let's see here.
<clears throat> okay. So now we're going to go in here. We're going to look at this website that I can do. Okay. We're going to select this design. And we're going to go in and we'll just say, um, hit website. See you in continue. Okay. Again, we'll go in and we'll throw one of the pictures in here off of our computer. And Remax back office has a wonderful tool, aside from this design center, um, that lets you really customize what your um, URL is going to be. It's a URL shortener. So <clears throat> a lot of people make the URL like the address, 129apitavenue.com. Um, you can do that in this um, uh, back office we have. They have an app that you can do that on. So right now, um, it's going to let us put a text. So name, activities. So we'll just say, um, just, just listed 149A Pitt Avenue, right? And we're going to click through and, oh, sorry, we can put the address down here, 149A Pitt Avenue. They're all different because there's literally hundreds and hundreds of templates in here that you can choose from. So I'm going to take the one with 49 pit out of the out of here. Okay. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Some parts are mandatory, some aren't, but you can just fill out whatever you feel like filling out on it. And the more you fill out, the more information you put on it, it's going to look better. Uh, I'm just sort of kind of breeze through to give you an idea of what a few of these designs look like. And again, in the body, I'm just going to paste that description I had. Okay. And then you can talk a little bit about like what the location neighborhood is. So say it's in um, Woburn community, I'm just going to make it up. And it's a 50 by 150 lot. So I really want to showcase that. Okay. And you can put a lot more information in this because it is a website. Okay. And then again, you see it automatically populates my information because it's reading off of my profile. And then I'm going to save and continue for this one. And we'll just take a quick look. I just kind of want to breeze through a couple of these because you guys should got to take time. You can look back there. They have um, newsletters you can send out to your clients. They have these websites you can create. They have postcards. They have, um, you know, uh, banners that are customized um, size for your Facebook, for your Instagram. So a lot of this is really, really helpful and really quick. Um, so I just wanted to show you what a couple of them look like. So just listed 149 Pitt Avenue. You know, if I had put a lot more information in there, it would be more popping up. It has the picture of that house in the background. Again, you saw it let me put in a whole bunch of pictures. So if I had, you know, 30 pictures to upload, I could do that. The more information I put in here, the more that's going to show up on this website, right? So the house picture will show up. And if I had put, you know, the year built and if it had a finished basement, garage, all of that would show up like it would in a normal listing. And don't forget that a lot of this is going to automatically populate when you set up your profile and you have your listings coming in automatically. This will be really full. But if you're just trying to like find some business or you want to focus on a certain area that maybe you don't have a listing in, you can come in here and you can just curate them from, uh, um, from the basic, basically. Okay. And then you see it um, puts my information up there automatically again. All right. So we're going to go back and we're going to look at that um, uh, video that it did at the beginning for us. You can create that as well here. Okay. So this video, we're going to go here and we're going to click on it. We're going to try to design one of these. Okay. Select this design. And again, I'm just going to go here and I'm going to just try to save a few of these pictures real quick because um, uh, I don't have my laptop today, which kind of leaves me a little wounded, but it's okay. Uh, I just forgot it there. So I'm just going to quickly save four or five pictures here so I can give you guys an idea. Now, normally you'd have like the front of the house, a few of the rooms. Um, so it's going to be a little different than what it would normally be if you were showcasing one house, or maybe you want to make this video, um, kind of like, Hey, here are a few listings, right? So maybe you want to showcase four or five listings in the, uh, in the brokerage that we have currently. Maybe that's a good, um, way we can look at designing this instead of just 
um, focusing on one property, right? So I'm going to name this project, let's name it Woburn, because I'm sending it out in Woburn. Um, and I'm going to say just listed and so, or let's say just listed, we'll keep it simple. Okay, save and continue. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to upload some of these pics here that I grabbed. Okay, I'll do this one. Okay. Maybe I'll just grab like four to make it quick here. But I do want the video to actually run a little bit longer for you guys. So let's see how many did I download. Four. I'm, I'll just throw the two, last two in. Otherwise, the video might be a little too quick for you guys. Okay. I'm get one more there that I grabbed. Okay. So save and continue. So the next thing it's going to ask me is text, okay? So this headline is on the market. So maybe I want to make it say fresh on the market, right? I want to send this flyer to the neighborhood. I want it to be exciting. Um, so it's asking me for a specific street address on this one. Um, we'll say, let's say, I don't know, one, two, three, Main Street. Okay. Um, okay. And I might want to say just listed here. Save and continue. And then it lets you select from a, like the first time I played it. Hopefully the audio will work on uh, this uh, office laptop. It lets you pick audio for the video you're creating as well. Uh, so maybe acoustic upbeat let's just know a few of these we'll preview them we have something like that that's actually kind of a real standard one you see used a lot for listings so whatever your style is you can go here and you can pick they have a whole bunch of audio clips that you can attach to this so we're gonna say what do we feel like this morning island smooth Maybe we'll pick this one and continue. Let's just preview it for a minute. Yeah. Okay, that sounds upbeat for a rainy morning. We'll keep island smooth here for us. Save and continue. And then again, it automatically populates my information. I'm gonna save and continue. Okay, and we're just gonna preview our file here for a second to see what it looks like. So fresh on the market comes up there and it's going to pass by all the pictures that we took. Okay. So we're going to say just listed. Again, we can use all those lines. If I had added in those lines, sort of explain more. If I was really working on this as a project, I might say fresh on the market. Then the next one, because I'm doing a bunch of different properties, all in Woburn community, contact me today. So sort of every slide, every transition, you see how it said transition one, transition two. So because I have six pictures up, I have six transitions in this. I would have been able to put in six captions saying fresh off the market, just listed, call me today. Or maybe if this was a pick, if this was a, about just one listing, we put the front um, pick up and we'd say, you know, oversized lot. And then maybe the next picture would be of the brand new kitchen. You could say, newly renovated kitchen. You can have these captions come up during your transitions in your video, okay? So it's really, really excellent tool to use. Okay, so if I click out of this, now how do we use this tool, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna upload to YouTube, okay? So I'm just gonna click on this button and it sort of does all the work for you. And what am I gonna name it? I'm gonna name Woburn Just Listed Project, right? I'm going to click on upload. Now, Remax, it says we're generating your video. When it's finished, we'll upload it 
to YouTube right away. You click on OK. So a lot of times, like when I share videos with the office about the training, when I finish this office training, I save the link. I throw it on our personal channel. You don't actually have to even create a YouTube channel for this to happen because Remax has a private encrypted website that they they sort of upload, not website, but YouTube channel that they're uploading all your videos to. And what it's going to do is it's just going to create a link for me to share. So I don't have to worry about the whole um, back end of knowing how to use YouTube, creating my channel, saving the video, uploading the video and all of that stuff. Um, it's just going to create this video for me here and it does it pretty quickly. So hopefully it'll have it soon here. Okay. So it's going to say links and tools here. Okay. So if you go back, sorry, to the beginning here, we did the upload to YouTube button. Now I'm going to go to the links and tools. Okay. And it's going to give me a couple of different actions here. It just hasn't come up yet. Let's let it populate. And it's going to give me different ways to share this with my audience. Okay. So I either, it's still processing. What it's going to do is it's going to give me a QR code and it's going to give me a link. So say I want to showcase this on my Facebook, I could go on my Facebook and I can share the link. And I'm going to try and show you guys that if this populates quick enough. So it, usually it doesn't take that long, but everything's slower in the rain, right? Everybody feels a little slower in the rain. Does anybody have any questions so far while I'm waiting for this link to come up? Has anybody tried using these tools in the back office? You know what, maybe while this is populating, I'm gonna go and just show you guys that URL shortener real quick. Um, it's a really good tool. So say you just want to go and create like that one page website that you saw that we did in the back office. And what it's going to do is going to spit out a really long URL. You guys see them in your address bar at the top. They're really, really long URLs. So say you have something that's crazy long. Um, let's just go here and just copy and paste this, for instance. Okay, this is really, really long. I'm going to go into the URL shortener here and find it for you guys. URL shortener, there it is. Okay. And I want to create a link. So link, I'm going to say this is for my for sale. I don't know. You can name it whatever you want. You can even say 149 or pit for sale, like we're using that pit address, right? And you want to paste the original link. Okay. I want to click create. Okay. And it's given me a short, shorter link here. Right. So you don't have a crazy, crazy long um, address to share with everybody. You have something very, very short to share. It's also going to spit out a QR code that you can share with everybody. So if we download this QR code right now, we all know what a QR code, code looks like. People can scan those with their phones, their cameras, whatnot. You can share it on your postcards um, as well, right? So <clears throat> great tool back here, the URL shortener, because then you don't have to give a big long URL to share for whatever you've created in the design center. Let's go back here again now and see if that link is there. Okay, maybe if I could. Out and click back in. You can find something. I'm just giving it a minute because I want to show you guys where you can find it after you create it. Links and tools. Hmm. Okay, well, it's decided to be very slow this morning. So it shows up there under actions. You'll get the little link, which is the link you can copy and paste. And again, you can share that in your emails. You can e-bass to your clients. You can post it on your Facebook. I kind of wanted to go to my Facebook and post it to show you how it would bring up a little preview of it. Um, but it's not coming up quick enough here. It's being real slow this morning. Um, and then our, our, it comes up with the QR code like I just showed you. So you can copy and paste that QR code. Maybe you're doing a flyer and throwing it to the neighborhood and you want to give them more information or a link to that web page that you created or a link to that video that you created with more pictures because we know our postcard can only fit four by six. So maybe I might come into the design center here and create that video and put all 10 pictures in of my property. And then when I send out my flyer, I have that QR code. So when they scan it, they're going to see that 10 page 
video that we were creating there with all of the little captions in each transition, right? Okay, so again, you guys, you gotta go in here and you gotta play around with it. You just have to see, so they categorize everything here or you can type in what you're looking, like you wanna search designs, like I said here, like say I'm looking for a newsletter. I'm sure there'll be a newsletter here. So 11 by 17 newsletter. Okay, and it pulls up a newsletter here and you see it's gonna, this is the layout. And I could physically print this or I could just copy and paste it into my e-blast again for my clients. Go in here and look and just see how many different things there are available to you. Um, thousands and thousands of things. If you're paying someone to do the artwork for you, you can probably cut a lot of your costs, especially if your marketing budget is low right now. If you're just starting out or all of us are a little bit slow this year, I encourage you to go in here and save a little bit of marketing cost by trying to do it. Because like I say, especially if you have a listing right now, or if you've done anything in the past, your old um, listings will come up as well. So maybe you can do just sold in the neighborhoods. All your projects will be there automatically done for you already. They have so many things in here that they just auto do for you when you load your listing and it automatically filters into your Remax back office. So definitely go in here and check it out. Um, such a good tool. So if you're on Facebook a lot, they've got, like I said, um, things that you can use on your Facebook that are properly sized for your pages, um, for the banners and stuff. If you're on your Instagram, same thing. Um, just got to go in here and search for it and there'll be a design for it. I'm sure of it. But like as always, if you guys are in your back office and you have any questions for me, you can let me know. Um, I encourage everybody today, though, online. Well, I'm just going to stop the share so I can look at you guys there. Everybody. Um, online please go on your remax back office today and let me know if you are stuck or you can't get in because it's so important like i say we pay our fees and dues um to the head office every year and every month and it's going towards these tools yes remax makes money the, the head office makes money but uh, it's going towards helping us fueling um for these tools that we have in our back office to use to make our job easier and to help us be marketable um, you know, sort of quickly at the tip of our fingertips. So go in and use it and check it out today and let me know um, if you guys need any help. Does anybody have any questions? Everybody good online? All right, everybody, enjoy the rest of your rainy day um hopefully the rain stops I've been complaining it's been like literally the worst summer ever and I want to have more and more sun so I'm tired of it raining every day but it's okay um get out there and get some business in the rain and let me know if you guys need anything have a lovely week I'll see you on Thursday evening I'm really hoping to have um um all that template set up in sky slope by Thursday I'm going to try to do it today and tomorrow um and if you guys are getting an email kicked out to you just ignore it log into your stratus as usual i sent an email last week explaining just log into your stratus as usual and go to your sky slope from there don't bother using the link in the email um that you guys are getting as i set up everybody um because i want to go and create templates there that everybody can go use just like we have in our web forms all right everybody have a lovely morning and i'll talk to you guys soon and don't forget we have our picnic on this saturday if you have an rsvp let me know Bye-bye, everyone.